Hi, it's Jill with Quick Flex. Um, and whoops, I'm getting dinged here. Alrighty, let me get that out of here. There we go. Um, what I'm going to be showing you now is I'm working on, actually I'm working on two Daisy Duck parties. Um, this one I'm making the invites on is going to have, I believe it's 12 two-foot centerpieces, which I'm going to be doing four different, no, three different poses. Let me see what I have here. Yep, there's going to be one pose here, and here's another pose, and then this pose here. But this pose, she's going to actually be on top of this gift box. This gift box is actually from the Hello Kitty cartridge that I did the screen print from the Cricut Craft Room. Um, I have this cartridge, and I've used to use this box a lot, but now I do it on the print and cut, and I incorporated the purple from um, Daisy along with the pink, and I cut it as one instead of separate pieces. However, I do put a background to make it thicker, so there will still be an offset or a base of a white, in, again, just to make this sturdier. And what she's going to be doing on this, they're going to be cut out two separate pieces, and... You know, it just dawned on me, I printed all of these out, and I think I moved them around, and let me see if I can put her back where she was. Yeah, because she's already print out, and I moved her, and she's not going to cut out. I better stop messing around with her. Anyway, she's going to be standing on the gift box, like she's doing ballet or a flip over it or whatever. I was going to have her... Um, like she was doing the splits, but the more I messed around with it. When I get her cut out and put together, I'll decide how I want it. But the overall height would be, they're not two feet, they're 18 inches. That's what it is. So anyway, but what I did is I decided to choose this pattern to make my invite. And the way that I did the invite is I duplicated the, the gift box. And um, let me line these two up. Um, let's see. There we go. Then I'm going to take the top one, flip it vertically. Oh, I didn't want to flip them both. Flip it vertically back and flip the one vertically. And I'm going to color it white. And it's got all those pieces in there, so I'm going to take and weld it so it's solid white. Then I'm going to take my arrow and match it up here to make it all in one. This is kind of slow. I could dry it. I know that there's a way that you can line these up, but you know, I do it this way because I know how to do it. And sometimes it takes me longer to learn a new way than to just do the old way, how I already know. But what I'm going to do is bring these up where I actually I want this in the back. So I'm going to send that back. And continue upwards until I get it where I want it because I'm going to be making this as my invitation and this is going to be the card itself. Now I I already did it so I don't want to um, duplicate. Anyway, what I want though is when this card is folded they're going to be, they're going to be cut as one. I'm going to group them and if I take and put it as cut the outer edge. If I move it over here, it will show you that it's just going to cut on the outside. Then what I did is I went and took my knife here. And I started about here. And I am just going to take and outline a little bit of my white around the bow. And I didn't bring it up quite as far as I wanted to. But that cut, now when I click on it and I hit the cut line for the cut edge and pull it over here. I'm going to pull it up here so you can see. See that line there? It's going to cut. That is going to cut out just that line. And I'll show you why. Um, I've already got the invites done. This part, 
I took and did an inner internal offset. But because there was this line here, I made a square uh, like just a box or whatever. Whoops. And let me make, get a little bit. Anyway, piece it together here to cover that crack. What I should have done is made my inner, my internal offset before I made my cut. But I didn't think how I was going to do it until I did my sample. Uh, but I did an internal offset and to 100, or 0.1, I should say. Uh, and this is going to be where my wording will be. I haven't gotten the wording from the, the person who this is for. And so I haven't done it yet. And they're turned on the side because I can get more on my 11 by 17 inch paper. But after I cut this one out and I show you, it was too thin and flimsy where I did the cut here. And I want it reinforced so I did the inside and there's no cuts on this. Then this is part of that invite and then I did the background. Because again, the reason I do the offset that these are going to go with is because it makes them thicker and more sturdy or more sturdier, more sturdy, sturdier, but more substance to them is what I wanted to say. They don't seem so flimsy. That's the same thing as doing this liner inside. Then my cards really are firm and much better quality. And I don't know why that's sitting there, but it should be all outer edge. I'm done here, but I'm going to videotape now and show you what the invites actually look like. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Um, now I'm going to show you how I did the invite. Before I get into that, though, let me show you real quick. Um, from the, oh boy, I want to say wedding cartridge, from the Cricut wedding cartridge, or I don't remember which one it was. They have the bride um, box and the groom boxes, and I've been playing around with them for uh, my son's wedding, um, Andrew and Jenna, that are getting married in three months. This was actually the um, from the invitations to her her uncle Jenna's uncle is a printer and he did the invites but he sent me the the template for this part of the invite um, this was just a sample box I'm going to make it a little bit narrower because it started to cut the J off I don't like it quite looks a little squeezed on there and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller this is going to be hold um, either almonds or candy kisses um, in this little box and this bow will be tied around and it, we're going to use some sort of an organ, or, organza, is it called? I'm not real sure what it is, but uh, tied around where they can untie it, but I didn't have any sample in white. And then up here at the top, I put um, little gemstones on each one. I haven't done the groom yet, but I'm really happy with the way the bride box came out. Uh, I think they're going to be just adorable. Um, and maybe we'll... I'm not real sure. Maybe on the back we'll put thank you. I don't know. I don't know yet. But really super simple to do. And as soon as I have the groom ones done, I will show you a picture of that. Um, all right. Now, this is what I was talking about on the card. I've got a bunch of them cut out here. The card, when I did that cut, this was the cut up here. And the reason I wanted that cut is so that when I fold the card in half, the bow sticks up and you can open it because there's no way to s s this bow you can't get that shape there's no way of connecting the back to it if, if it doesn't open up um, and you can see through there the reason why and you can also see how thin these are and so that is why I made the piece here that's going to have the wording on it that goes on the inside of the card and that but when you're putting it on the inside of the card you cannot take where that bow is because if you do it's not going to open so I'm going to put a little tiny bit of tape there but not where that opening is and I'm only eyeballing it and I just ran out of tape I grab another gun this one looks like it's about ready to run out as well and get that there and we're going to lay this out um, I 
got here? Kendall's with us today. I went and picked her up early from school. Um, she had a little bit of a fever, low grade. Um, so it was nothing that required her going in. By the time I got her home, it was pretty much gone. But uh, her appetite is also back, and she wanted, um, she said the only french fries she likes are from Red Robin. They'd gone to Red Robin the other day, so they had leftover french fries. Ton of leftover, leftover fries. So I had to stop by her house to pick up the french fries. And then she, to get her, we, mind you, her school is six minutes from my house. That's how long it takes me to get to her elementary school. She couldn't make it to pick up the fries and get back to my house. Her house is on the way. She she lives about three minutes from school. She couldn't make it that far. She was famished. So I had to stop at McDonald's and get her nuggets, chicken nuggets. So she was eating those, and I had ordered myself a frappe, um, caramel frappe coffee. And she said, what is that, Mama? And I told her it was a coffee. And she says, is that cold? And I said, yeah. Well, she could see the caramel and the whipped cream on the top. So she's like, boy, that really looks good. I love caramel and whipped cream. So anyway, I got to drink my coffee, but I had to save her the caramel and whipped cream because there was no way after she said that I was going to drink it. And then when we got to the house, she was still hungry and had to have two huge plates of french fries and then this is like uh, I don't know must have been by 3 30 4 o'clock and then she's thinking ma'am I want mac and cheese for dinner keep in mind that she's been on these steroids that her appetite is just you know unbelievable she is off of those now as of Saturday she had her last dose so that should be under control her next chemo treatments will take her appetite away so we're going to be at this extreme opposite. So um, it's just one thing after another. But she's doing fabulous. We haven't gotten the results back from all the tests on Friday. But we already know. God is good and he is taking good care of her. Everything is good. Anyway. Um... There we go. I've got this one. She's a cut out and arm span is four and a half inches. Um, when I look her up in, in the images, she's like this, like she's doing the splits. However, I'm not going to have her doing the splits because I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to have her doing like ballet across the card, across the, and I pop dot that portion on. Oh, and i got to tell you, this is a funny story. My, I always have a funny story about my husband. There you go. That's what it is. Pop dotted, and then it opens just fine. And you don't see the seam or anything from in there. You can see it from the back, which is fine. But this is my daisy card. And I'll take some close-up pictures. It has all the writing in it. I haven't decided if I'm going to add a little tag on here that says happy birthday. But i got to tell you a funny story. This morning, I, I was getting ready. And I would put my clothes out and everything, because when I get up, I have to get ready pretty quickly. I sleep in as late as I can, but I have the kids. And so I get ready and my husband makes a comment to me. He says something to me about um, the, the pants I had on and my whatever it was I was going to wear. And he's like um, making a com comment about my pants because they're the skinny jeans. And he says, well, why do you wear those? And I'm like, well, why, would, why not? And he was going on about my skinny jeans and that um, not age appropriate I guess and um, he proceeded to tell me that why would I wear those he says um, again that given my age well my son-in-law was there when he was telling me that and my son-in-law's like you know I'm gonna have to tell you I do not agree with you that he did not believe there was any reason in this world that a woman had to dress and that we have a stigma because of age. The stigma should be because some things you just shouldn't wear. And there's all sorts of things that I should not wear. Bikini would be the first one. Um, but when my husband was telling telling him that, you know, he's like, no, you know, that's just crazy. You know, he said, there's absolutely nothing wrong. So then we start get asking everybody, my, my son and my daughter-in-law and my daughter and everybody, and they're all going, crazy, you're crazy, you know. Well, you know, the funny part is, 
He's the one that bought me the freaking pants in the first place. He bought them for me for Christmas, two pairs. Now, if that wasn't a dead giveaway that he didn't go shopping for me, apparently he didn't go shopping for me because he's complaining about my skinny jeans and he's the one who bought them for me. And I finally said to him, oh, by the way, you bought these for me. And he said, oh, well, I got caught. And he said, no, Amy did. So, but um, I thought that was pretty humorous that he told me he did his shopping all on his own. He was so proud of himself. And then he starts criticizing what I'm wearing. He won't do that again. My daughter said she's going to go and bring me over some of the stuff because I'm always criticizing her for wearing clothes that look like she took them out of a trash bag. And, um, and I was teasing her. So she's going to bring them over to me uh, along with some... Yeah, anyway, that that's going to be... I'm going to wear them. And when he says something to me, like when he wants to go out, I'm going to get dressed like that. And I know he's going to say, you aren't going out like that, are you? I go, yep, I sure am. I sure am. So, you have to tell me what you think of that dork. can't believe he said that to me. Sure, something more age appropriate. So, well, dear, you bought these for me. So, I think I got it all. I think she should take a close-up picture. What do you think? I think it will. Okay, we're good. And... I will be doing a video on, oh, I've got this daisy is one of the images I'm going to be doing. This is actually from the Cricut Cartridge um, Mickey and Friends, and I pieced it all together on the silhouette, again, screenshot, pieced it all together um, so I could cut it out as one because I don't like doing all the layering, and I'm going to be making gable boxes, and I'll do a background on the gable box and a sign, happy birthday, or whatever I decide to put on there. And then on this order, there are five of these daisies. Um, these daisies are not quite done yet. I'm going to do some purling on here and add my my little gems or however I want to do them. I have them ready to finish up. And the next, this is for one person. This is for another person. But I'm going to be using this as a centerpiece, this as a centerpiece, and then one other that I have. Once it's all done, there'll be 12 of these pieces. And what other projects do I have walking on? Oh, La La Loopsie. I tell you, I'm a busier than a cranberry merchant on Thanksgiving Day. Um, I think that's it. So everyone have a good one. Talk to you later.